Well, today a big crowd gathered for the Indigenous People's March in Spokane. <laughs> there are quite a few demonstrations planned in our region this holiday weekend. Tomorrow, the Women's March will kick off for the third year. And of course, on Monday, people will march in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Each year, more and more people are organizing and speaking up for the causes they support. Krem 2's Alexa Block takes a look at activism in Spokane ahead of a weekend of rallies and marches. I'm marching here today because um, indigenous people have survived 500 years of uh, genocide. We're still here, we're still fighting, we're still indigenous. We are rising like flowers. These people are here for the same reason, to speak up. We are still here. Reach out. And we are still proud. And walk together for indigenous people. We're stronger together when, when we unify. Our voices remain here and they will be heard. Spokane's first Indigenous Peoples March aligns with the national movement. Speakers reminded people of the missing and murdered Indigenous women. They discussed oppression, the environment, and their rights. These marches are really a great platform for us as Indigenous people to come together um, and talk about what's going on all over the world, not just what affects us on a local level. <laughs> And more activists seem to be using this platform here in Spokane. In recent years, more people have marched, rallied, and organized. For years, Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday was celebrated with a march, an opportunity organizers say to further his legacy of equality for all. Gay pride for many is a demonstration of acceptance and tolerance. And movements have grown over the years, like the March for Life Northwest, a platform to speak out against the practice of abortion. For the third year, thousands are expected to participate in the Women's March. Activists aim to shed light on the issues they say women face. It's just important to show up. I think when people show up in the United States, things come together and start happening. Whether it's a longtime tradition or a new demonstration, activism in Spokane is alive and well. In Spokane, Alexa Block, Crem 2 News. And we have a guide to all of the marches on our website, crem.com, from what time they start to where they begin and end. We have it all there. There are also several restrictions on what you're allowed to bring to the marches, so make sure to check it out before you head out the door. All right, as for our